Hello, one and all, folks. NES Gamer 190 here with a let's play of UFO The Two Sides for the computer. What is UFO TTS, you might ask? Well, this is pretty much XCOM available for multiplayer. Playing, being able to play as the aliens or as faithful XCOM operatives. Well, unfortunately, as much as I'd love to go a multiplayer game, well, let's just say I'm afraid bugginess and all might lead to a few undesired artifacts. So we're going to have to stick with a single player game. And this is a beta of 0 0.99, folks. With that said, this isn't a exactly complete program. And yeah, there are still a few things under construction. Namely, a few graphics, which thankfully you can get placeholder graphics. And of course, playing as the alien side. If if the new version of XCOM TTS comes up, I'll be more than willing to let's play the alien side. Namely, due to how fun they've been. But anywho, let's get a move on with the two sides. And our first base, of course, shall be in Europe. Eurocom check. And this is our default base. One of the big differences compared to normal XCOM is notice these empty tiles? Normally in XCOM, they would be, well, just plain old solid wall. In TTS, they get converted into hallways. In base info, soldiers, and pretty much the same. And hey, we got soldiers. Let's check them out. Igor Balav. Good hit points, fair bravery, decent reactions, his firing could use a bit more. Ivan Andianov, pretty good health, a pretty good bravery actually, sucky reaction and firing though. Robert Day, good bravery. Nice health. Okay reactions and okay firing. Manfred! He's another good bravery. His hit points could use a bit more, but his reactions stink and he can't throw. Claude Bradley. Okay guy overall, except for reactions and firing's hit or miss. Dwight. Aside from bravery and reaction, he's going to need a work. Henry Horton. Dear Lord, you coward. You're like the lion. Arthur Sammy Sunko. Want to make sure? Another coward. Pretty much he isn't really going to make it. And we have a Sky Ranger. But first things first, we need facilities. Ilian Containment. Another Living Quarters. We really don't need another lab. But we do need a large radar. And of course, Never hurt to have extra general stores. 
And we need to purchase gear. All pack. Fifteen more scientists. And of course another difference is, well, we can't research medkits to build them. We gotta buy them. Pack some electro flares. Thankfully we can buy medkits off the bat. And we're going to probably want stun rods, just in case. And of course another difference, sniper rifles. These mother fuzzers are accurate. Emphasis on accurate. They can hit fairly well. But overall, yeah. Don't rely on them saving us. And now we need to do research. Research is done way differently, folks. We can do multiple projects, but only the project on tap research queue gets full attention. In short... What the... Oh, hold up. Sorry about that, folks phone call. <laughs> oh, mother of mercy. Yeah, and as for first research, it's a no-brainer. We need re laser weapons. And another noticeable difference, we know how hard it'll be to research something. I.e. we no longer get the vague. We're doing, we don't know how well we're doing or we're doing poor. We get detail. That's one thing I like. Manufacture, same deal. But we can't manufacture anything yet. And yeah. This is it. Also a note. We have quick base access by clicking on these little tabs. Clicking on these bars will bring us to those hotkeys. And well, yeah. Grouping. Well, control and a number is a grouping sort of deal, folks. Like if I were to press control one, we'd get to manage groups so I could group up interceptor one and two and then have that as a strike force but right now at this point in the game it isn't quite necessary as I'll send my interceptor to North America and my other to Asia and of course another noticeable difference. We have different time denominations. A. We have one second, real time. B. Five seconds, the normal XCOM's slowest. C. One minute. D. Thirty minute, one hour, five hours. And... Oh, also, graphs. These tell us how much alien activity we have. Now, unlike XCOM's graphs, these go on a sort of every three days we update. So if we... So, by the end of the 3rd of January, we should have data. And also, research on stuff goes on a day-by-day -day basis. Whereas manufacture goes by hour by hour. As I'll kick it up to 30 minutes. UFOpedia. We don't need to bother. It's beta. It just has placeholder stuff. Options. 
Self-explanatory. Save, load, back to main menu, exit game. Uh -oh. And of course we have detected a UFO. Holy crap, right next to our ranger. Interceptor. Go to it and Yeah. Let's just say I'm hoping I can get a crash on that UFO. Cuz crash missions are usually easier. And besides, whoa, hey, another UF. Jeez, what's with them in attacking Europe? Yeah. Well, at this point, ah, stupid double clicking mouse. I might as well send my ranger out to. Oh, we got battle. Pretty much standoff. Cautious, standard, aggressive, and abscond. And we freaking destroyed the small. Okay, a small at Europe. I hate doing a night mission, but really, we have no. real. Yeah. Henry, Claude, like Henry. And now, Henry, you're going to have to stick with a. Oh, Arthur, you can hold on to that. Yeah, I'm currently micromanaging my inventory. Ivan, Robert, Manfred, I just have to feel bad for Henry. Okie doke. Here we go. Mission one. It seems we've got the northern corner of the map. Come on, Ivan. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That was stupid of me. I forgot to put his pistol away. down Igor you two Ivan get down Robert move out oh boy I don't know how many people I'm gonna lose folks but considering this is a night mission and I didn't get any shipments It isn't going to be pretty. And this is an actual medium scout. And we could also crouch walk at a cost of a few more TUs. Which, for those of you who haven't played XCOM, equate to time units. Now let's see if we can't get a sectoid contact. Since we know where the mutants are. Yes, I know they're aliens, but I 
We'll use mutant, alien, xenomorph, whatever, interchangeably. Bear with me. Dwight, get a move on, laddie. Hmm. Yeah. Overall, boring first turn. <coughs> Whoa! Sectoid. <coughs> Fire. Whoa! Hey! Watch where you're shooting! <coughs> Who's drinking the moonshine? My up? Wait. I can't say that. <coughs> Not yet. <coughs> oh, jeez. How many plasma shots is, is he gonna launch at us? Off us. Did he just... He's alive! But he got pretty much crippled by that shot. Sadly. There you are, you f fuzzer. Turn and burn, Robert Day. With your rifle, I have faith in you. Come on, man. Good shot. Right in the melon, too. Now I need to finish this mission within 12 turns, or Ivan bleeds out. I can tell because of this negative one. That's fatal wounds he suffered. Want to double check I'm not going to be flanked. As our gunslinger Henry Horton gets a move on. That's the problem with night missions, folks. They have a sort of built-in night vision, if you will. Come on, Manfred. And as such, because I didn't get my shipment of Electro Flayers to toss them about, things aren't pretty. Oh, by the way, Alt Key allows us to see what's on the ground. And unlike, well, Almost unlike actual XCOM. We can use alien weaponry. Wait. We can use alien weaponry without researching it. It's just we gotta use it in the battle we pick it up in. So if one of my guys picks up a plasma pistol that hasn't been researched, they can use it in battle but we can't load it on Sky Ranger that's what I'm trying to say <coughs> oh jeez <coughs> I've been down <coughs> oh god <coughs> and he's shooting at my cannoneer slink up Come on, ugly. There you are. You'll pay for killing Ivy. Come on, Robert. Come on. Right in the melon. Two down. So far, for you folks keeping track of score at home, XCOM scored a second kill. But the aliens also have a point. Holy cow, Claude, you have good eyesight. And Henry... How much... Okay, a snapshot will only take ten. Oh, 
Come on, Arthur. We're moving you in with the big gun. <laughs> oh, lordy, oh, lordy. This is going to be fun. Already with one death. Oh, man. If only there was a few things. And of course the battlescape is a little different, but I'll tell about the battlescape in future times. I.e. when the differences arise, I'll speak of the differences. Yeah, I'm wanting to make sure there's an insectoid over here. Well, only one place left where he could be. Let's get ready to rumble. And of course, a question you folks might be wondering, will I name my soldiers? Well, it depends on interest, folks. If you have names, I'll greatly consider them, i.e. I'll probably use them. Come on, Dwight. And we'll rename the soldiers appropriately. But a, eh, if no naming of troops is wanted, I can live with the defaults. And let's end the turn here. Oh, he's coming out. Ah, shit. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Whoa! Hey! Ah! You mother fuzzer! This is the problem. Whoops, I forgot to set him a talk. Snapshot him. Good shot, Henry, you guns akimbo dude. And yeah. Let's take a look inside the UFO. Power source, yes. Navigations, yes. Alloys, yes. And that ends our first mission. We killed three of them. We, what? We lost only one goon? Oh right, they knocked one of our guys out. It's just hard to tell when they knock them down as opposed to kill. No live captures. And of course research bonus. I'll explain this right now. This is basically how many bonus points we get for our live captures. So if we got two soldiers, there'd be a two at us. DM is medic, E is engineer, N is navigator, L is leader, C is commander. Artifacts. These are pretty much the alien items that we got. Illyrium. Hallelujah. Wonderful stuff. Power source, another good item. UFO navigations, nifty. Alloys, nifty. Mission time. This is another difference. If we take too long on missions, the game will penalize us on our points. I.e. if I were to take 300 turns, I'd get like negative 5,000 or so from mission time penalties. And insurance money. This is in case we lose operatives. We get money. It pays for insurance. And this arrow tells us who got what. And so Igor is alive. Robert is alive. And he got firing accuracy, time unit, and strength. 
Manfred is slightly healthier. Claude is a bit more accurate. One more time unit and a bit stronger. Dwight's just alive. Henry, one time unit, one strength. Arthur is alright. Overall, I think I did okay on this mission. Interceptor 2, return. And yeah. That was interesting actually folks. I didn't expect two alien UFOs right there. And I totally annihilated a small scout and I took on a medium scout. Oh wait. Interceptor 2 is ready again. Tasia with ye. And of course we have stuff to sell. We really don't need too many bodies, really. And I'm not a big fan of plasma pistols, for that matter. I'm sorry folks, but it just... Yeah. Anywho, here's our seven troops, Igor. Eeyore Belove, pause if you want to see their stats and claim a name. Robert Day, who saved the day with two kills. Manfred Vornin, ouch, 41 days out. He is going to be down for a while. Claude Bradley. Dwight Dujardin, Henry Horton, and Arthur Samusenko. Would that be all of them? Anywho, researchables. We have more stuff we can research. And. I'm not really going to research the corpses too much. But I am going to research the plasma pistol. Wait, no, no, no. Never mind on that. I am going to research the alien alloys. And continue my patrols. Hopefully we'll catch more of these alien enemies. Uh, uh, heavens. And yeah. I really don't know what to say except here's a hoping we catch the xenomorphs off guard, take them down and save the... Oh hey, more scientists. Electro flares and whatnot. Okay, time to equip our craft proper. We don't. Okay, electro flares. I'm loading these on. Definitely loading the med kits. And definitely loading on the stun rods. And you know what? We're calling it apart. Next time, folks, on XCOM, the two sides. One whole day has passed and already two UFOs. What's next? <laughs>